हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होम डास्टिक बरीजवाना फाइनली द मोस्ट अवेटेड वीडियो एंड आल्सो माय मोस्ट फेवरेट वीडियो इज हियर दिस इज लिटरली माय फेवरेट डेकोर ऑफ द ईयर व्हिच इज रमजान डेकोरेशंस सो दिस इज माय ड्राइंग रूम गाइस दिस इज लाइक अ सेपरेट रूम वेयर आई हैव डेस्क एंड हियर आई स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ माय टाइम डूइंग यूट्यूब रिलेटेड थिंग्स ओनली रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई वोंट डू एनीथिंग मच हियर सो हियर वी हैव वन सोफा सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज द पोजीशन ऑफ द फर्नीचर मेक द चेंजेस सो दैट आई कैन ओपन अप सम स्पेस इन दिस रूम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू पर्टिकुलरली डेकोरेट दिस रूम फॉर दिस रमजान मंथ सो आई एल बी मेकिंग नमाज कॉर्नर here and to be honest i didn't purchase anything for this ramzan decoration because i didn't have budget this time so except that carpet which you have seen just now i didn't purchase anything literally though i have lot of things in my mind like fancy show pieces lights and lamps and many other things but to be honest as i don't have budget i didn't purchase anything i just wanted to do all these things by myself with all the existing craft material whatever i have so with this video you are going to get lot of ideas with which you can decorate your home in zero cost or very less cost it's not necessary to do so much fancy decoration for ramzan it's just we are creating a spiritual corner for more focus on the prayers and also more concentration which can be done with whatever we have so let's get started so first i'll be quickly cleaning this drawing room and also changing the position of the furniture So if you also want to decorate for Ramzan first select the place where you want to decorate be it your bedroom or living room whatever the place it is but you have to make some space over there by adjusting the things like how i am doing here i am moving the sofa to this side so that i can open up some space here and i removed these uh, big cushions from the sofa because it will open up space on the sofa and it will be more comfortable for seating and i just wanted to have something like a divan rather than a sofa that's why i removed those cushions I feel more comfortable now on the sofa. So let's clean the other side of the room as well. And here on the side I'll put these orange tub chairs and I have to do something for these tub chairs in future and I'll put my dad's DIY lamp here. And once you clear the space then lay a mat or a carpet whatever you have. After laying the mat we'll get clear idea where we can decorate exactly. Now I'll be sharing with you some awesome DIYs. The first one is DIY moon lamp. I have seen this moon lamp online but as I told you I didn't want to purchase it so I started making it and so for that you have to take a cardboard piece draw a moon as usual and make a cut out of moon like this we have to make two moon shape cut outs and make sure that both are of same size and exactly equal now take one piece and cut the inner side of the moon like this you don't need to do this for another piece Now take one cardboard strip and roll it like this. And now we have to attach the cardboard strip on this and repeat the same for the other side as well. So basically here we are creating some empty space in this. And now to make the moon more sturdy, I am just applying some Fevicol mixed with water and pasting some tissue papers or else you can use some wall putty paste instead of that. Now take the other piece of the moon in which we have cut the inner side and I have taken one acrylic sheet transparent sheet that I have and I'll attach it on this moon. After it is completely dry we can cut the extra transparent sheet and here I am spray painting our moon shaped box with white color. You can also use acrylic colors instead of this. And now on this using glue gun I am going to attach my transparent moon on top of this box. So here is my base for the lamp ready the main part now i'm covering these borders with some pearls when you use random size pearls or any embellishments it will look more beautiful so i was i ran out of white color pearls so on the other side i used gold ones and it looked even more beautiful and for the base i have this flower vase base available which was damaged so i'm going to spray paint this one as well with white color Meanwhile let me show you my moon which is so beautiful and pretty I have filled the gaps with glitter and on this base I'm going to attach this moon 
and for the base i have pasted some gold foil paper which was looking pretty and attractive and here on the back i made a small hole and i am inserting string lights through it and now let's turn on our lamp how's it guys it's going to look even more beautiful when we style it now let's see the second diy which is ramadan banner so to make this banner take some cards or any wedding cards whatever you have old ones and cut it in this shape and paint it with any color of your choice here i am painting with blue as i have chosen the theme to be in blue and gold and now using fevicol on this i am writing letters on this put this gold foil paper and uh, once it is dry gently brush it off to remove the extra foil these foils you will get online it's not too costly it's very reasonable so i repeated the same on the other cards as well and i made a ramadan mubarak banner with all these cards to make it more attractive i just mixed some glitter in a fevicol mixture and i applied that now make the holes on these cards and make a banner it is as simple as that guys our ramadan mubarak banner is ready which is so beautiful and attractive now moving on to our third diy which is going to be very interesting this is a sadaqa box charity box so here i have taken the sweet box which was there for a very long time and finally i got this idea and i have uh, attached a cardboard piece inside it to make it more strong and here i am making an arch shape cut out with a, a glitter paper and i am pasting it inside the box this is literally an easy and attractive diy guys which looks more, very beautiful and uh, looks like a store bought one so inside it you can uh, decorate with whatever you have whatever embellishments you have so i just used some uh, mirrors like stars and moons and on this again i have attached this transparent acrylic sheet and i am covering the borders with some lace now on top of this box we have to make a small hole to drop the money as we said it's a charity box and at the bottom i'm making another hole to uh, take out the money and i'll be covering that hole with this candle here i have put the candle inside and i have covered it with some masking tape and i made the hole to adjust the switch uh, on off button as well so this is how it looks and when we want to take the money out we can just remove that masking tape take the money and put the candle back isn't it a beautiful pretty and a thoughtful decorative item this way even kids will be attracted towards it and we can encourage the kids to save some money for charity and the next diy is wall hangings for this i have taken two uh, diamond shaped cardboard pieces and i am painting with blue again as i said my theme is blue and uh, on this inside i'm making one more uh, diamond inside which we have written sabr and shukr in arabic and on the borders i am making this kind of design using ceramic cone which is looking so beautiful and traditional here we have written sabr and shukr which means patience and gratitude and uh, i have filled that with ceramic cone now to make it more attractive i'm just spray painting with gold and i'll paint the inner side of this diamond shape with blue color again and using gold color acrylic paint i have highlighted these words these two are ready but to make the hangings i was not at all getting any idea and finally when i saw these uh, paper straws i got this idea i painted them with blue color and uh, and i have inserted some gold color pearls through this and i made a simple hanging and here is my simple and beautiful wall hanging ready now the last year is ramadan calendar for this i have this hexagon shape or uh, mdf board and i'm painting with blue color and on this we will write 1 to 30 numbers and i'm highlighting these numbers with gold color acrylic paint I'm covering the borders with these star stickers which I bought for 5 rupees each sheet and this is the holder for this plate and Ramadan calendar means we should be able to highlight or mark which day of Ramzan it is I'll show that in the final look Now I have one bonus DIY for kids which was completely unplanned these were leftover cutouts and I had this gold color wallpaper available so I just covered these moon cutout uh, this moon cutout with this gold color wallpaper and the base also with the same gold color and I'm just attaching this moon on this base and that's it this DIY is ready As we are done with the DIYs now it's time to decorate this room and on this wall I'm going to hang my Ramadan Mubarak banner 
Isn't it so simple guys we need not to purchase all these things but sometimes we can make our own DIY uh, decoratives as well so just try this out for this Ramzan and I got this frame from Misho recently for around 150 or even less than that and I'm attaching these on this side of the wall above the sofa and on this side I'm hanging this one which is one of my oldest DIYs I thought it's going well with the theme so I've hung here and this side I am hanging this artificial hanging plant and this is one bismillah key holder and here are my beautiful DIY wall hangings which I'll be attaching on both the sides of this banner when we have something on both the sides of the banner it will look more attractive and beautiful and here on the sofa as i don't want this red color i just wanted to cover this so for that i'm laying this fabric which i bought for a very reasonable price offline so i just spread this cloth on the sofa and on the sofa i'm placing these blue color cushions which i got stitched with the fabric that was available and I have this old stool and I wanted to do something for this so I just quickly uh, pasted this wallpaper on this gold color one and uh, I covered the rest of the stool with blue color acrylic paint to match with the theme of this decoration as I don't have any center tables in this room I just wanted to use this as a small center table and I don't have any console table also to decorate this room so then I thought that I'll put this plant to stand here anyways there is no space in my balcony and to cover this stand I'm using these blue color velvet fabric actually this is a sofa cover that I showed in one of my videos very long back and this is how I have covered this stand in the center I have kept this rehal and on the both sides I have kept one plant and here is my moon lamp and here is my DIY sadhka box which I'll be attaching uh, on the wall. I have attached it in the center and here I have kept one flower vase and I have kept one tray in which I am keeping this uh, Ramadan calendar and, uh, and here is my easy peasy DIY moon decor piece. And this one is actually an incense stick holder but I am using this as a lamp. I have kept one LED candle inside it and I will put this here. And I put a tasbih here and also a bowl with the dates. And that's how I have simply decorated this tray. And uh, to make it more attractive I am adding some lighting here. On the other side we have this lamp on which I have decorated with some artificial plants and uh, these chairs also I have put this blue color rock. and on this table I have put this beautiful showpiece. Now I will be giving some quick final touches by turning on all the lights. This is my desk on which I am keeping couple of lanterns and plants. So after all the final touches, it's time to have the final look. Hope you all will like it. So this is my beautiful room that is ready for Ramzan guys. Let me take you through this in detail. So starting from here, this is my DIY Ramzan Mubarak banner which you can do it by yourself so easily. And here I have this metal wall hanging um, wall art which was there uh, already. And down here I have decorated with my DIY wall hangings and in the center Ramzan banner. And here is a sabr wall hanging. Sabr means patience which is very important for everyone not only to succeed in life but also to get through the hardships. And here is Shukar wall hanging which means gratitude. We should always be grateful to all the countless blessings that we have throughout our lives. And here is our DIY Sadhka box guys. Try this one and make sure to have one in your home and encourage kids and other members of your family 
to save some money for sadaqa because you all know that how it helps you in many ways like it elevates your status and uh, it protects you from any kind of hardships by following this practice we will be getting rewards and also we will be protected and at the same time it's going to be helpful for the needy people and here i have my quran and here i have my beautiful diy moon lamp this is literally my favorite and best diy so far and here i have my diy moon show piece or whatever you see but this was unplanned and unexpected diy that came out of leftover cutouts and here i have decorated uh, one tray with all these things you can also put one tray and uh, keep whatever uh, necessary things that you need uh, for this ramzan and this is my ramzan calendar and here i have uh, attached this moon mirror on a magnet and uh, when it's second day we can put the moon here when it's a third day we can move the moon to the number three likewise we can uh, place a moon on whatever day it is how do you like that idea let me know in the comments and uh, so that's how i have used this two tier planter stand in this ramzan decorations so basically you might have observed in all my videos my intention is like with whatever items we have we can do the best and we need not to have any high end luxurious items for home decoration and here on the sofa i have uh, spread this uh, fabric this literally i got for around 200 or 250 rupees all this fabric and uh, i have put some added some blue color cushions and on this side of the wall i have decorated with uh, a hanging plant and a lantern and an islamic wall art and i added some lights to make it more attractive because without lights it was looking little dull so just to enhance its look i just added this pink color lights which was available and this one is one of my oldest diys as i told in the beginning and here are the beautiful uh, cutouts that i purchased from me show recently so that's about this side of this uh, room and here i have put this small table which i've decorated and on this i've kept this showpiece which was uh, matching with this theme and uh, giving that uh, royal touch to this and on this side i have my desk as you all know this is where i do all my youtube related stuff and i want this desk to be clean empty i don't want any decoratives or anything here just i have kept couple of lanterns and plants in the corner and on this side i have kept this display unit and this other side of the room where we have this tv and this lamp and couple of chairs i know these chairs are not uh, going well with this room but uh, i don't have any other choice guys i'll do something for that in future let's see and this is how it looks in the night time my moon lamp is literally glowing and it's looking so beautiful I want to hear from all of you which DIY you liked the most and which DIY you thought uh, is very useful and thoughtful and also tell me if all the DIYs are easy to make or not and is there anything that you feel like not affordable so I just want to hear all these things from you and I hope you all liked this video today if you really liked it and enjoyed this video I request you to press the like button and in case you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be coming up with most affordable realistic home decor home makeover videos every week and also don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys because after putting so much effort your comments means a lot to me and that gives me a lot of motivation to bring more beautiful and useful videos for all of you in the future and this is how it looks in the daytime when i open the front door this room looks very cozy and warm in the day also so that's all for today friends let's meet in another interesting video until then bye bye take care and ramzan mubarak to all of you in advance